Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. This is the question. A 22 year old man is shot in the groin on examination. He has weak hip flexion, weak knee extension and impaired quadriceps tendon reflex as well as sensory deficit at the anterior medial aspect of the thigh which structure has been affected so first of all we have to find out the key points of the question a 22 years old man shot in the groin this is the first clue then we can see he has weak hip flexion so first of all we have to find out the muscles which is responsible for the hip flexion then weak knee extension and impaired quadriceps tendon reflex and sensory deficit at the intermedial aspect of the thigh so which structure is affected so it is uh, a lot of clinical feature uh, here such as uh, weak hip flexion with knee extension impaired quadriceps tendon reflex and sensory deficit at the anterior medial aspect of the thigh so it is nerve damage actually uh, the different type of muscle weakness and also the sensory deficit so it is caused by nerve damage so here are the options options are femoral nerve sciatic nerve superior gluteal nerve ilioinguinal nerve and genitofemoral nerve so we have to find out one of the nerve which is responsible for all of the clinical features so let's see here we can see two picture the first one here here we can see this is the thigh and this is the anterior aspect of the thigh in the anterior aspect of the thigh uh, we can see in this picture there are different group of the muscle uh, the uh, here first of all we can see this is the rectus femoris then vastus lateralis vastus medialis and vastus intermedius which lies below and behind the behind the rectus femoris and we also here we can see this is the cut edge of the sartoria so they are the anterior group of the muscle and we know that the anterior group of thigh muscle they are responsible for the extension of the knee joint and here we can see this group of the muscle they are supplied by this nerve this is one of the uh, large nerve and here we can see uh, the nerve and we know the name of the nerve is femoral nerve so the anterior compartment of the thigh muscles they are supplied by the femoral nerve and they are rectus femoris vastus medialis vastus lateralis and vastus intermedius and also this is the sartorius so now uh, here we can see the hip flexion here this is the hip joint we know and there is the two important muscle one is the swas major this muscle this is the swas major muscle and here this is the iliacus muscle so iliacus muscle and psoas major muscle they are responsible for the hip flexion here we can see and this hip flexion it is supplied by the femoral nerve uh, so here also the femoral nerve it supplies the uh, psoas major muscle and iliacus muscle so these two important muscle they are the chief hip flexor and these two chief hip flexor is supplied by the femoral nerve that here we can see this is the quadriceps re reflex or patellar knee reflex in this case we can see this is here this is the patellar tendon so when uh, there is tap by this hammer then the sensory neuron it carries sensation through the sensory neuron go through the the dorsal root ganglia and finally reaches the spinal cord and from the spinal cord the efferent fiber or motor fiber it originated and convey its signal to this group of the muscle that means the anterior thigh muscles or quadriceps groups of the muscle and it causes contraction of the quadriceps muscle that means the four muscles rectus femoris vastus medialis vastus lateralis and vastus intermedius so this group of the muscle uh, contraction occur and patellar tendon reflex or quadriceps reflex develop so our final answer is now ready this is the femoral nerve because 
we know that the hip flexor is the source major and iliac and it is supplied by the femoral nerve then we know that the knee extensor it is uh, done by the quadriceps group of the muscle that means the rectus femoris vastus medialis vastus lateralis and vastus intermedius then quadriceps tendon reflex loss that means it's efferent pathway efferent and efferent pathway it is also by the femoral nerve and sensory deficit at the anteromedial aspect of the thigh it is also supplied by the femoral nerve so our final answer is femoral nerve this femoral nerve is responsible for the deficits of all of the clinical feature in this person thank you all